The Sal Rosa, basically mecca for any concert goer in this city. Acts of all stripes have played, from hip hop to heavy metal and everything in between. But today, and in fact all this week, it's been home to something very different. It has been the home to Rock Camp for Girls, a five day workshop where some of Montreal's premier musicians teach girls between the ages of 10 and 17 what it takes to rock and or roll. How long has Rock Camp for Girls been a thing? How long has it existed for? We're having our fifth anniversary this year. How it works is we have a group of girls come spend a week with us and they have five days to learn an instrument, uh, form a band and write an original song. They also do a bunch of workshops throughout the week of camp. And then on the last day of camp, they perform a public showcase concert. What's the principle behind starting these rock camps. This is an age where girls and young women especially face a lot of particular challenges and um, to be in a space where they just have tons of support and encouragement and positivity around them all the time it really makes a difference. Our campers get to see a wide range of role models for them throughout the week of people who are women, who are musicians, who work in the music industry. And there's yeah. a category which I thought it was very cool, the preferred gender pronouns. Yeah, our camp is open to anybody um, who identifies as female, and that includes folks who may identify as trans and gender nonconforming. It's something that we really embrace and celebrate at Rock Camp. All right, are we ready? Go for it. Okay. Day one. I chose the bass. I don't know, something about the sound of the bass, I find I just it just kind of clicks with me. How come you chose drums? I just thought that they were pretty darn cool. Yeah? When I first started, I had no coordination at any point. Yeah? Now it just flows. I chose bass because I have a really low voice and <laughs> like the bass. Yeah. I just found it, I find it presents me. Okay. One, two, Rock Camp for Girls, just the idea of it to me was just so fantastic. When I lived in Newfoundland, I was part of a team that started the first Rock Camp for Girls there. And we felt really frustrated with the sexism that we encountered every day in the music scene. So we decided to start something where we could nurture the people who are coming up uh, younger than us. We're going to do three group groups now. And you're going to have a paper and some markers. And you're going to write down ideas of like how to have fun. I may not be a musician, and the last time I checked, I'm not a girl, but I am a fan of rock. So I'm still hoping I might be able to offer a suggestion or two on how to truly rock out. What about windmill guitar playing? That's a big one. That's the one where you like where your arm goes around as you're playing the guitar. People love that one. Is that like the Who? Or? The Who did that. Yeah. That's right. I don't see uh, windmill guitaring on there. <laughs> Are we just totally disregarding windmill guitar? People yeah. love it, guys. Yeah. Maybe in brackets. <laughs> uh, we have to be confident. Don't take yourself too seriously. Encourage people in your band. Have a good time. Scream your lyrics. <laughs> Do what makes you feel good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you see a change in the girls? Like, do you see them come away with something after the five days? I mean, playing music is almost incidental to this cooperative problem solving and sort of the personal growth, the confidence to be able to perform, being able to listen to people's ideas in a creative setting. That those kind of skills, I think, are the truly important things that come out of camp. Stage presence is key to the rock and roll persona. And we're over here at Casa del Popolo as the bands are getting tutored in what it takes to blow minds from a stage at a rock concert. So what do you guys have planned when you get up on the stage? Um, improvising. Improvising? I guess you gotta kinda feel it, right? You gotta feel where the music takes you. In this workshop, the girls get up on stage practicing their best rock moves to the beat of their favorite girl band songs. There's one thing that I have learned today, beyond anything, is that girls can rock really hard. You 
guys just <laughs> killed it up there. I mean, everybody was great. There was more hair up there than I've ever seen in my entire life. It looked like Kiss in the 70s. You guys looked amazing. You could, it was fantastic. How do you feel after that performance? Amazing. Yeah? yeah. At the end of a day like this, I always like to ask myself, what did I learn today? Well, and I learned that the future rock goddesses of this fair city are coming out of two buildings on St. Laurent St. Joseph. Here at Casa del Popolo and across the street at Salarosa. Rock Camp for Girls.